Hi friends, Krista here. Thanks for stopping my books and jams. Today I am going to be talking to you about my recommendations cart and asking for your help. This will be the fifth year that I have done this project and I think maybe my last year because every year I just get more and more recommendations and it's just harder to keep up with it all. But this is the cart that I often refer to throughout the year as my booktube recommends cart. For the last four years, I, at the beginning of the year or sometime in December, I ask you for recommendations from my Goodreads owned TBR shelf. And I will link that fiction shelf down below because I'm asking you again. <laughs> and so every year I fill this cart to the brim. This is the end of the year. So I'm gonna walk you through the cart in just a moment. It's kind of sad at the moment. But every year I fill this cart with your recommendations. I also create a spreadsheet where I put who recommended it, the name of the book, the, the author, and I also the last couple of years have added the rating for the book so that I'm able to sort the books by highest and lowest and it's kind of cool to have that information as well. This past year in 2022 I had 125 recommendations. Many of you recommended the same book as someone else. I had a handful from my Christmas shelf, I had a handful from my middle grade shelf, and then I had a, a handful of fiction ones as well. I don't ask for you to look at my nonfiction list just because I want to keep this fiction. It also helps clear space off of my shelves behind me if I have a whole ton on this shelf. So in 2022, like I said, there was 125 recommendations altogether. I only unhauled three of them. I've gotten pretty good about unhauling as I go or unhaul like taking a look at my books throughout the year and unhauling ones that are no longer interesting to me. If I go back to past years, I have a lot more unhauled books, but this year I've only unhauled three of them and I read 38 altogether. So that's 41 books out of the 125, which is only a 32.8 percentage, but I'm okay with that. I, I feel like it's just for me a fun way to have another stack of books to pull from. I will say well, something I noticed this year is that in by July 1st, so almost halfway through the year, I had already read 30 books off the cart. And in the second half of the year, I only read eight more. <laughs> I have 38 altogether. And most of that was done at the beginning of the year. I think that that was pretty interesting. A lot of those were middle grade. During middle grade March, I read a ton from this cart. And I also find it interesting that at the beginning, each year I choose a different color. This year is purple. So these are sorted right now by highest rating. Look at my little head peeking out. But these are sorted right now by highest rated. And I focused a lot on highest rated. As I scroll down this list, there are fewer, well, there's some still in there. But I definitely read a big percentage of those highest rated ones. Before we get into the actual cart itself, I just wanted to kind of share with you, I started this in 2019. And in 2019, I read 40% of the books on the, on the list and there were 77. Uh, we can see it grew has grown a lot since then. Um, and now as of 2022, I've read 80.5% of the lists from 2019. I love that I keep, I keep the lists from each year and I mark them with different colors. So last year was green, 2020 was pink, and then 2019 was yellow, and gray, dark gray is unhauled. So I increased that percentage by 40. In 2020, I had read 62%, which was really good, and then I've increased it to 73% now by, by reading a few more of those lists off that list. And then in 2021, I read 39, read and unhauled, 39.1%. And now that is at 53%. So it's kind of fun. A lot of the increase are books that have stayed on the list from year to year. <laughs> there are a handful of books that repeat themselves because you guys really want me to read them. The, a lot of that increase is also unhauling. So I count the unhauls in that percentage because they're no longer on my shelves. And that is the goal. The goal, the goal of almost all my reading goals is to read more from my shelves because I have so many books. We'll take a quick look at my cart just because it's kind of fun <laughs> to see what's on it right now and how I use it. And then I'm going to kind of clear this off because 
what I need from you is in the description right near the top, you will see a link to my Goodreads owned TBR fiction shelf. You can click on that link. Feel free to sort the list however you want. You can sort it by alphabetical title. You can sort it by highest rating, like average rating. You could sort it by when I put it on the shelf, like date that I added it to the shelf. There are lots of different ways. You could just sort it by publication year. There's, I, I made it sortable. So you can sort it any way that you want to, to choose one book. <laughs> I'm, I'm limiting you guys this year to one book because in the past I've had people give me a list of four or five books and that's, it's just not feasible. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you to just kind of take a gander through that, that list on Goodreads and choose the one book that you really want me to read. Now I know some of you are going to still put three or four. I'm only going to put on my list, on my spreadsheet, the first book that you mention. Okay, I'm not putting five books on there this time. <sighs> that gets a lot. It's a lot of work. I love having the list, but I am going to try to challenge you to just pick one this year. All right. And then I will share later in the month, later in January, I will share which books are now on my cart. I'll show you my updated cleaned up cart, but we're going to clean it up a little bit now as I clear it off. So we'll start up here at the top. I mean, I have pens all over. There's a bucket of pens and markers here, which needs to be minimized, but I have pens and scissors. Mostly this is for pango stuff, journaling stuff. I have these in this little jar, which is not the best jar because it narrows. It, it gets narrower near the top. I need to find one that's, <laughs> that even gets wider because I have quite a few. So I need to find a different container, but I do like this little vase. It's just going to come off for now. <laughs> I have a, a little chocolate snack, which I'm really proud of myself for not eating this all in one go. But these are the chocolate covered acai and blueberry. Oh man, they're so good. A little chocolate treat. I've got some bookmarks up here. A mixture. Well, these ones are all Amanda's <laughs> from the Curly Reader. I need to take off these Christmas ones and find a few more. I do have a few more wintry ones that I'll put back up on the top there, but I always like to have a few handy. I, I do have a mug or two on my shelf with bookmarks, but we're gonna take them off the cart for now. A candle lighter, <laughs> because that's always handy to know where it is. Um, let's see. Up here, you can, can you really see it? This is, <laughs> this is, when I'm sitting in my chair to film, this is my fancy setup, are you ready? I have this <laughs> clamp, <laughs> and it's just clamped onto a book that I then either put other books on to hold steady or my computer, <laughs> but it's this clamp. It does have a light. Oof, here, let me put that back down, sorry. It does, um, it just holds my phone like this. It clamps on here. It does have a light, but I don't use the light because of glare on my glasses. I'm not a fan of glare on my glasses, but that is clamped onto A Woman Is No Man by E. Toph Rum, which I did not get to read this year. So also, so all of these that I'm taking off are ones that I did not get to this year. It's not all of them because some have been put back, like my middle grade ones got put back on the middle grade shelf. My Newberry ones got put back on the top of these bookshelves, but here's some of them. I'll just, I'm not telling you about them, but I'm just going to take them off. So we have The Book Charmer by Karen Hawkins, City of Thieves by Dan David Benioff, Dear Martin by Nick Stone, A Name Unknown by Rosanna White. These used to be alphabetized as well. And the Mountains Echoed by Khaled Hosseini, Sold on a Monday by Christina McMorris. Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. The Book of Unknown Americans by Christina Henriquez. Bel Canto by Ann Patchett. And Angel Falls by Kristen Hanna. I can't wait to fill this with the new ones. Oh, what was that? Oh, a Christmas book exchange tag. Ha! This is from um, that dog one with the racing, the art of racing in the rain. I know you're not a dog person, but this is a must read. I knew exactly what that was from. That was from Sarah from last year or the year before. We have Happiness for Beginners by Catherine Center. Evil Under the Sun by Agatha Christie and Dragonfly by Leela Meacham. Room by Emma Donahue. 
The Bean Trees by Barbara Kingsolver, The Lemon Collie Life of Annie Astor by Scott Wilbanks. Oh man, this was not a recommendation book, but I had been, once some of these books got cleared off, I kept putting my current reads in a little stack right here. And I started this, got about 100 pages in, 80 pages in, Fast Feast Repeat by Jen Stevens. I do still want to read this. Um, what else is here? Well, let's do these. Let's finish the top row. Oh, <laughs> The Serpent King by Jeff Zettner. This Baker's Secret by Stephen Kiernan. Her Daughter's Dream by Francine Rivers. Harry's Trees by John Cohen. The Iron Lake by William Kent Kruger. Lost Roses by Lisa Martha Hall Kelly. The Book of Lost Friends by Lisa Wingate. The Night Sister by Jennifer McMahon. I should save that for when I pick Audrey's name. I feel like that's a good Audrey book. Okay, down on the second shelf, we have, oh, this is a card that I got during catch up -a in October. I'm going to keep that because it's super cool. I have a Christmas <laughs> card from one of my family's uh, friends from Massachusetts. I love them and miss them. That just came this year. I have mailing tape for Pango orders. <laughs> That's got to stay nearby. Some chargers. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five chargers. I'm always looking for them. It's nice to have a place. They're going to have to not be on the cart because this is going to get filled up, I'm sure. Some post-it notes that I use for Pango orders. Carmex, because it's the best. I always need it. Um, early thoughts about reading goals for the year. I have all these on my list, so I did good with those early thoughts. I have two <laughs> patron recommendation slips. <laughs> Got to make sure those are on my list for that. I've got Olive and June top coat because you're supposed to put a good top coat on every couple of days. It helps it to last, helps your manicure to last longer. <laughs> My planning journal for the year 2022 that I stopped using in like May. That is done. And then we have some more books here. Let's push these forward so I can grab them. The Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte. Poisonwood Bible by Barbara Kingsolver. The Shell Seekers by Rosamond Pilcher. The Overdue Life of Amy Byler by Kelly Harms. The Only Woman in the Room by Marie Benedict. Actually, I think I'm going to unhaul this. I've read two other Marie Benedict books, two or three, and she and I don't get along. That's going in my pango pile. There goes my percentage. Up another up another point. <laughs> Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. The Mountain Between Us by Charles Martin. Shadowy Horses. The Shadowy Horses by Susanna Kearsley. The Winemaker's Wife by Kristen Harmel. Woman of God by James Patterson. And The Women in the Castle by Jessica Shattuck. And then I just have one more row down here, which you can't really see. I don't want to mess with that tripod. It's a little tricky. <laughs> I have a box of tissues because I'm always sneezing, particularly when I film videos. I feel like I always start sneezing. I have some reading Mad Libs from Independent Bookstore Day. That's kind of fun. I forgot that that was even on there. Send Down the Rain by Charles Martin. Resistance Women by Jennifer Chavarini. Girls in the Stilt House by Kelly Mustian. Mustian. Hotel on the Corner of Bitter and Sweet by Jamie Ford. Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close by Jonathan Safran Four. They Went Left by Monica Hesse. Hess. Another Fire Clicky Starter thingy. Did not know that was down there. A note from Owl's Nest about Orion and the Starborn. <laughs> Let's see. Trash. <laughs> Some cards that I had received earlier in the year. Put that in my mail pile. The Man Who Loved Jane Austen, which is by Sally Smith O'Rourke. And this was my lowest rated book on the shelf last year. I didn't get to it. <laughs> the Two Lives of Lydia Bird by Josie Silver. Skyward by Brandon Sanderson, which is the highest rated of the ones I haven't yet read. So that's pretty up there. I do want to read that. And then another of the lower rated ones is Send For Me by Lauren Fox. And last but not least is some more... Another card, 
and some more notes type things that needs to get cleaned up. On the outside of my cart, I have a little magnet here that says I love books. And on the other side, oh look, here's another charger to a Fitbit that I no longer own because I switched to an Apple Watch. And oh, lots of magnets. I have some, st oh, these are magnets. Reader's gonna read, oh, that didn't stay very good. Reader's gonna read in this bookworm, oh, that's a sticker. This is a magnet. No such thing as too many books and a little bookworm sticker here. And then these are from Book of the Month. Cynic in the Streets, Romance on the Sheets. I'm not keeping that. The Husband Did It, nice thriller magnet. I'm not keeping that. <laughs> I must have got these in the mail and just stuck them on here. Contemporary Fiction is so right now. That's kind of funny. Sure, why not? I'll keep that. A historic, a historic moment. I'm not reading. <laughs> Doesn't happen very often. And then this is from... The book script on Instagram. She's got an Etsy shop, I think. I will try to link it if I can remember. I, I'd rather be reading. I love that. It's really pretty. So now my card is empty, friends, and I need your help to fill it up. What are you going to recommend? Are you going to pick something different? I would love it if you would, because I've added a lot of books to my shelves this year. So feel free to sort however you want to. Remember, only one book. Can you do that? Can you pick only just one? It doesn't have to be a book that you've read. Maybe it's a book that you want me to read. Um, feel free to give me a reason if you want to. Don't feel like you have to. You can just put the title. That's fine. I am behind on responding to comments. I will respond to every comment. It might take me a while to respond to your comment on this particular video because I'm not going to respond until I make sure I've added it to my spreadsheet. And then I sort the spreadsheet by alphabetical and then I refill my cart. So that is the plan. Although I might sort the cart by rating this year. That might be kind of fun. We'll see. You'll have to stay tuned. I'm not sure how I'm going to sort the cart. But the cart is now empty and ready to get filled up and I need your help to do it. I can't wait. This is my fifth year, like I said. I've loved it every year and I always get so excited to see what you're going to pick. Don't feel like you have to pick something that's been on the cart before. All right, I... Enough talking, Krista. Let's chat in the comments. I can't wait to see what books you recommend. Remember, only one. Thanks so much for participating and adding to the fun of my reading every year. And I look forward to talking with you in another video very soon. Bye.